I got a chance to make fun of my own movie Jaws, and I sent Jaws up in the opening scene, and that was my idea. I wanted to do the whole thing. I wanted to even get Susan Baccalini, who played Chrissy Watkins, back to play the same character. I imitated the same shots, tried to get the sun in the same place to glisten the water, the same way we did it in Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> previewed the film in Dallas, Texas, it was received by the audience. 800 people couldn't stop laughing. And I thought, oh, my God, I have a comedy hit. And for the first time in my life, a comedy set piece actually worked, and the audience couldn't stop laughing. The second that scene was over and the actual movie began, there were about four laughs in the next two hours, and that was it. And, and I think what killed the comedy was the amount of destruction and the, the sheer noise level. The audience, and I was watching in the preview, that many people were watching the film with their hands over their ears, holding their ears because they were being assaulted by all the noise coming out of the speakers. And I think it's not that we dubbed it too loud. I just blew too much stuff up. Pauline Kales, she had a radio show off the air. She said to me, now you have, I hear, 1941 coming out. She said, well, we're all waiting for that one. You know you're not going to get off as easy as you get off with your first two films. We're waiting for you to fail. And in so many words, she pretty much just said to me, you know, we've got our knives sharpened because this better be the greatest thing anybody's ever made or you're going to go down in flames. And I'll never forget her warning, almost like sight unseen, whether it's a good picture or a bad picture, it's your turn to be slapped. I was kind of riding the whirlwind. And when I did 1941, I have to tell you, I felt like I was made of Teflon. I felt that anything I put on film was going to succeed. I felt invincible. And I think, in a sense, at that point in my life, the best thing that could have happened to me was the drubbing that 1941 got, both from the critics and the public. And, and I, I, I tell you something, I sobered up so quickly after that was over. I just became so precious and indulgent about getting everything right. I did 20 takes on inserts that should have been done by a second unit. I shouldn't have even done the insert. I shot all the miniatures myself. I directed every single miniature. I should have had a miniature unit come in and shoot the Ferris wheel rolling down the pier. I had a first unit production company, and they were being paid first unit dollars to shoot what should have been second unit miniatures with a pared down 20-person miniature unit, and I couldn't let go. I couldn't share the workload with anyone. And I learned the greatest lessons of my career just from the experience of 1941.